<laughs> oh lord, what do we got going on here? Yeah, well, yeah I guess so. Gonna have to balance that side. One of us gonna have to balance this side while it cuts. And All right, I'll balance this side that way I can get the uh, uh, the angle. And you gotta man this at the same time, though. Well, that'll be as long as you hold that side. I'll just have to get this lined up. This is gonna be a difficult cut right there. Yeah, because of this. Right. I don't know, we might have to take the saws off this one or something. Do we have, where do you have a saw? Yeah, on? I have one over there. I don't know how good the blade's on it though. So we are, uh, we're gonna be straight piping Ryan's Chevy. American made. Oh, like that too much. Oh, bent it. Ooh. Crooked like my peepee. -pee. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Oh, that's hot. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Little bent now, brand new blade. I mean, it's got. Hello. It's got a tiny little bend in it. Nothing Damn, else. that thing works good. Oh yeah, that's what I used to the other exhaust system when I was working on that van. Oh, yeah, she's she's, she's men again. Yeah, we couldn't use the cutter because of where the uh, little hangers were. So sawzall is always uh, number two on the list for cutting exhaust. That's what the truck sounds stock right now. Well, it's actually not stock. He's got an aftermarket exhaust system on it. It's got side dumps. And now we're just going to be straight piping and we ain't even going to do the side. Mm. Smell that exhaust. So he's got little mufflers that are dual. We're just going to delete those completely. And it's just going to be basically a muffler delete. I wouldn't really call it straight piping because it's still going to have the cats, but it's pretty much straight piping. Make sure your feet are not butt cracked. Oh Lord. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, all the horny old ladies. <sighs> Got this, uh. This plastic dip. Yeah, plastic dip starting to chip off now. Back in a I don't think it's, it's, oh, it's like, it's like touching on a little nut right there. That's good. It'll be fine. So it disconnects from here. Bolts here. So, we have the hangers, a little dribble. Yeah, so it's got, oh, a little, little dribble dribble. That's a nice weld. That was a flux core weld right there, boy. Oh, nice, nice. Well, that's what we're going to be using today. Just, uh, you know, I'm a professional with it. And for anyone watching, this will be up for sale soon. <laughs> yeah, this muffler. <laughs> Works good. It sounds decent, but it's going to be better uh, straight pipe for sure. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna disconnect it from right here, take it out, and we gotta get uh, enough pipe to replace where the muffler went on that stock exhaust, and then we're gonna just gonna, you know, it's gonna be all straight, all the way to the back. And it's gonna sound dope. It's gonna sound amazing! Will they come off? That is the real question. Oh. Oh, I think she's gonna need some lube, bud. Yeah, I got chain lube, that'll work. Chain, chain lube. Basically W huh? that's what it is, WD-40, chain lube. It all works the same, pretty much. Oh yeah, there we go, see? 
He's not creaky creak creak when it's coming out, you know? Like I said, lube, man, you gotta always luber. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me that was moving on today. I don't know. I got the intention span of a of a half dead of mouse. A goat, of a goat. Of a goat. Oh yeah. Let's do a little visual inspection on this beast. I got a old rusty Chevy rim. Very nice. Chipping on our coating. You bolts are mint. It's very important. No leaky diff. Kaka. Why are you gonna go and pick over my truck? Now we're just doing a visual inspection, making sure you're safe on the road. She's looking pretty mint. For a New England vehicle, she's pretty mint. So having trouble getting all this last bolt out. I think our issue is we just don't have enough husky in our bite. Uh huh. Fighter. You can never outdo the husky though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. eBay, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> so we just gonna run it to the uh, to storage just like this. Well, oh, it's probably gonna drone either way, cause it'll drone back here. Well, I'd rather have a drone back here than up by my feet. Oh, <laughs> well, we, we should probably just cut this fucking wiring shit off. Oh, we're gonna need something heavier than that. Yeah. Only other thing we could use is all tin snips. Pieces of wire flying everywhere. There we go. Looks better with all this, all this like bird's nest wire on it. <laughs> yeah, grab some bolts. Bolt it on. We'll go to the store. We're just gonna run it like this for now. Till we get the rest of the exhaust on there. Yeah, it's gonna be loud. store. Alright, we're back. Had some Taco Bell. I'm having some vanilla ice cream right now. Oh, I know you still eat it. You use it in a minute. It's on. There we go. Once it gets us in there, we'll put this up. And uh, you know, make sure we're looking good before we weld it. Yeah. There you go. Mint. All right, I think that'll fit. So just put that up on there. There you go. All right. Get off a little bit. I mean. Yeah, I suppose I could just do it like that. Yeah, that's what I figure. All right, I mean that works. Hell yeah, boy. That's good everywhere too. All right, well I'll just tack it like that and then we'll pull her off and get some good old beads yeah. on her. Right, I gotta clean this shit up real quick though. Somebody used this with a small head last time. 
Can <laughs> <laughs> you grandfather? Did your grandfather use it last time or no? Might have been Ethan. He's got a pretty small head. I was going to say. Definitely be easier pulling this down. But let's see what we can do. Not pulling it down. All right, so she's done. Comes out the back. I guess it sounds a little louder. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sounds a mint. All right, guys. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for today. So uh, I welded it up right where it sat, and I uh, was able to pretty much do a reach around and get it. But hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right.